Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We have recruited the mages. They are not really our friends. They are technically our prisoners. I'm not all too keen on keeping mages as prisoners. I think mages should be uh, not enslaved, but I also don't really trust mages that aren't being under the watchful scrutiny of any circles. Because circles prevent blood mages, or at least they're supposed to. And, ugh, I just don't like the notion of possible blood mages running free. I don't want anyone becoming a Tevinter blood mage magister or abusing green lyrium to rip open any more holes in the sky. We've got to keep an eye on these mages. But regardless, how we got the mages' help is not important. Now that we have it, we can use them to close this rift, hopefully. And I guess that's going to be the end of the game. Yes, and once the rift is closed, they won't need me after all, and I'll be able to wander off into the sunset. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. Here's hoping. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the fade? Nope. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about. I've been to the fade before. I'd know it. Point taken. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. Boy, I would not have described seeing that as a gift. That was an absolute nightmare. So many were dead. More had been corrupted. Knowing what will happen if we fail. I suggest we not fail. Oh, good advice. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Yes. I thought he'd have more to say about me enslaving the mages for my personal use. You'd think he'd be all up in my butt about that, but I guess it's just one more thing that he and I wouldn't agree on. Dorian! Yes, I recently recruited a different mage, right? Yes. The time-traveling expert Dorian. Put a leash on the rebel mages, I see. Yes. Interesting how they seem to like the idea. As if it's a relief to be penned in again. Some people just crave order. There was no other choice. Oh, I'm not arguing. Just pointing out the ridiculously obvious. It all depends on what you do with these mages later. No guarantee you'll throw them back into circles again, I suppose. I mean, unless you're as thick as you seem. Which would be sad, really. Well, hey now. Circles aren't that terrible. But enough about the circles. Tell me about you. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Tevinter, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you'd give me more insight into maybe your history, maybe what you have expert knowledge on, besides time travel, what your assets are, what you bring to the table. Yes, I know your assets are your ridiculously good looks. Don't give me that wry smile. You certainly think highly of yourself. It's true. I could be more modest, but I'd be lying. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Hmm. I can respect a Tevinter mage who spits in the eyes of the Tevinter. I'm getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. Have you ever thought about returning? Maybe trying to improve everyone's lot over there? Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Devinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, It'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. 
but that's why we kill them. <laughs> yes, that's one of the reasons why we kill them. Is there any reason in particular your family is angry with you? If I ask this question, are you going to disapprove because I've opened old wounds? Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the Magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. Now, when you say careful breeding, are they actually keeping track of that stuff? They have it all scheduled out? What do you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Devinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. You have an interesting backstory. And it will be nice to swap out Solus every once in a while. He has started to grow to be a thorn in my side. So I might see more of you, man. See you around. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. Have you seen Alexius? Have you seen what has happened to him since I last saw him? Last I saw he was captured. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked... despondent. Broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. You know what they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Well, it's, an inter it's interesting to get a look at Dorian's backstory and how he feels on things. I'm trying to find a mage who agrees with me that mages should be locked up, but can you believe I'm having difficulty finding somebody who sides with me on that? The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. Really? One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. Yes, I already know about your history with Red Lyrium. It's spreading faster than we thought, isn't it? How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. Man, if you could infuse Red Lyrium with the power of blood magic, I don't know what kind of unholy hell you could unleash. We can't leave a single piece of that Lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? I'm going to close that giant rift in the sky. We can't know what's coming. Best not to get too comfortable. I can't disagree with that. But maybe you should try to relax while you can. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I just cannot take a moment to rest. Especially because I haven't picked anyone to romance yet. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was... Not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. Yeah, Blackwall doesn't seem to be the most interesting character in the game. Doesn't seem to have a whole lot of relations to anybody or any faction. Yes, he is connected to the Grey Wardens, but the Grey Wardens are nowhere to be found, so... For all intents and purposes, he's just a really good soldier. That doesn't have a whole lot of influence in anything else. Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. Good to hear. The people are returning, slowly but surely. 
They seem grateful to the Inquisition for the return of their village. Oh, maybe we could ask them, petition them for help later in the future. It's an option. It's good to have influence where you can find it. By the way, when I went to the future, you went absolutely crazy, and then you died. For me! In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Yes, it was noble, but uh, that life was not so great. You were condemned to a lightless dungeon. Not much of a life to sacrifice. And I would do it again. Good to hear. I would watch you die a second time, too. And you can take that however you want. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. <laughs> I'll just be the other side of Haven. Just in case. Oh, you don't like mages? Do you have a problem with our new allies? With mages? No problem with mages. You're fine, right? My problem is magic. If mages sat on their hands, everything would be fine. You know it too, that's why you're shoving them up towers after. That's good, right? I haven't decided I'm going to shove them up towers. At least not the classical towers, because those weren't perfect. There's room to improve on the towers. Is the Inquisition what you thought it would be? Well, you're dragging people together, suppose that's some... You're going to need more trebuchets if you're going after the sky. Or, you know, ladder. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people. Right, which ones? I'm just wondering what you're thinking about our newest companions. What about Dorian? <laughs> He's fun. Could lose a bit more to Vinter. That's all, huh? So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Um. Yes, Tevinter magic goes too far. I've got no problem with normal magic, but Tevinter goes beyond all reason. I know, right? The Vints are always pushing. Anyway, I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. Well then, don't look at it. Simple solution there, Iron Bull. So how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlais, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. Any reason for that name in particular? Or is it because iron and bulls are strong? Why specifically iron bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's the iron bull, technically. <laughs> I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. <laughs> I like that. I like that about you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Cass, what's up? And uh, what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do. Complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We've been split up, regardless of our colleges, forced into quarters so small that... This is not the Circle. You have been conscripted into the Inquisition, like any soldier. How are we supposed to... Deal. With. It. <laughs> That's how you gotta do it. Take a hard line with these mages. It never ends. Evidently. Yeah, tell me about it. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The mages are too accustomed to running or being kept prisoner. It's not easy for them. It's your doing, after all. You're the one who conscripted them. Hey, don't look at me. I made them prisoners, too. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. Uh, <laughs> flatterer? I don't know. She didn't seem to react too positively to the last flirtatious option I took. I am pretty clever. Yeah, I'd just be all full up of myself. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. <laughs> Okay. 
She does not respond positively to the flirtatious option, but I think I might just keep on picking it <laughs> just because it has an amusing result. Hey, Cullen, how's it going? I might just end up romancing you. You're the only one who doesn't seem to take offense to my beliefs. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. I hope so, too. I know you wanted the Templars, but... Uh, sorry. We can only have one, and I picked the mages. Would you be more confident if I'd brought back Templars instead? I'd be less worried about the thin veil resulting in mass possession. The mages submitted to our authority. Their safety and our followers is my responsibility. I take it seriously. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. You will be here. And you will be spearheading my charge to take on this breach. We're going to close it up right now. Join forces with your new allies to assault the heart of the breach and close it. The best of the mages are ready, Harry. What about the mediocre ones? Be certain you are prepared for the assault on the breach. You cannot know how you will be affected. Because I'm a mage? Or because I'm a super mage with green glowy stuff in my arms? We're ready. Let's begin. You ready for this? Because I don't know if I'm ready for this. And I don't think you're ready for this. You're still wearing that really stupid armor. Mages! Focus! I guess that's it. Roll credits. It is a time for celebration. Yes. Oh, yes. Solus confirms the heavens are scarred by the calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. I am still shocked by how easy it was. You know how many were involved. Luck put me at the center. A strange kind of luck. I'm not sure if we need more or less. But you're right. This was a victory of Alliance. One of the few in recent memory. With the breach closed, that alliance will need new focus. Forces approaching! To arms! Uh, what? What? Hold on! We just closed the breach! We must get to the gates! This must be the work of the Elder One. My nightmare was correct! He has possessed the Templars! He has removed the Lord Seeker from power and usurped his position! Never a dull moment for Southerners, is there? Here we go. It's Mages versus Templars, round 4 or 12, whatever round we're on. I've lost count. Cullen? One watch guard reporting. It's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None? Open. I'm Cole. I came to warn you, to help. People are coming to hurt you. You probably already know. What is this? What's going on? 
The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is this the Order's response to our talks with the Mages, attacking blindly? The Red Templars went to the Elder One. You know him? He knows you. You took his mages. There. This Elder One. He's very angry that you took his mages. Cullen, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Mages! You! You have sanctioned to engage them! That is Samson! He will not make it easy! Inquisition! With the Herald! For your lives! For all of us! <laughs> okay, I guess that green glowy rift in the sky was just a red herring. Or a green herring, because the real threat has always been the Templars! And sure enough, my nightmares were correct. We've got red Templar horrors here, possessed abomination. We should have sided with the Templars, but I suspect that if we had, that the Elder One would probably be angered that we took these Templars. That's my guess. You got the trebuchets ready? Hold on, protect the trebuchets! Don't let them attack our siege weapons! These things are so much more powerful than you have any idea! Even though we're not sieging any fortresses or anything right now, it's important to have these protected for some reason. Keep them back! We're ready to fire! Then fire! You have permission to fire! Try and aim for that guy with the weird disfigured face! No, not, not Jameson! Leave Jameson alone! I'm talking about that demon thing! Attack the demon thing! Take that! Yes, I'm not just a fire mage! I am a fire trebuchet firer -er guy. Oh, yeah! Ah, now I see what use the trebuchets have. Clever, very clever. I guess the Elder One commands dragons now, that's not great. Okay. Day is now well beyond making sense. Everyone to the gates. Looks like we're fighting a dragon now. Hey, is it the moon? It looks pretty. Okay, uh, yes, Dorian. It's time for us to retreat. Varric, Cassandra, wearing an outfit that is skimpier and yet somehow stronger than normal. Yes. I like your bare midriff. It really protects you from damage. Yes, let's keep going. Towards the castle gate. Protect the stronghold, which is not really a stronghold. It's just our little encampment out here. Don't let the dragon burn down the tents. And my horses! Protect my horses! Running, 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 running. Move it! Move it! Don't worry, this wooden door will protect us from the dragon that can fly over the gate. We need everyone back to the Chantry. It's the only building that might hold the gate. Beast! At this point, just make them work for it. <laughs> They're gonna get the Chantry, but don't lie down and make it easy for them. Haven must evacuate to the Chantry! I really don't think the church is gonna be able to protect us. The dragon is on top of the church right now, setting fire to everything. Oh, you pain in my butt. Alright, come back here, you scaly worm. I didn't expect this from you. Thanks. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Are you coming with me? Yay, we have saved one of the townsfolk and they're coming to fight with us. Good, good. I couldn't save them all, but I saved at least one or two of them. Hey, this guy. Move! Keep going! The Chantry is your shelter! He tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about it. Harold, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a path for that army. 
They'll kill everyone in Haven. The Elder One doesn't care about the village. He only wants the Herald. He'll burn down the village to get to me. I don't care what he wants. How do I stop him? It won't be easy. He has a dragon. We know what he... <laughs> yeah. Herald, there are no tactics to make this survivable. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you'd made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I could t tell you. Rocks aren't gonna stop a dragon. Oh, you mean a path for us to escape? What do you want about Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start. It was overgrown. Now, with so many in the Conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers... I don't know, Harold. If this simple memory can save us, this could be more than mere accident. You could be more. Cullen, can we make this plan work? What about it, Cullen? Will it work? Possibly. If he shows us the path. But what of your escape? If he's after me, he can come and get me. Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition, follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Herald, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. I'll make sure they bury you in a nice grave, Chancellor Roderick. I don't despise you anymore. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. So now I have to lure the dragon away. I get to be bait once again. Hey team, how are you feeling? Oh yes, good, yes. Throw barriers on us immediately, Dorian. Smart move, that's why you're here. Oh man, this is where I talk to Solus and Dorian. This is our little hangout. We didn't always get along, but that was our just, our ha that was our hangout spot. We just kicked back there and the pub. Now the tavern is on fire. Oh, it's where Sarah and I used to drink. Oh, this is a travesty. Also, all the people that are dead. I'm sad about that too. Oh, oh. Oh, well, at least, you know, look at the bright side. The terror in the hole is gone. So, that's one problem we don't have to worry about. It's just all these red-blooded, red-faced, lyrium-enhanced Templars. Uh, Night Captain Denim. Oh, they have taken the leadership of the Templars and corrupted them into something even worse. I see. This nightmare is now a reality. There we go. We've taken out that corrupted Knight Commander. Keep moving the trebuchet. I'm getting distracted. I know what my goal is here. To aim the trebuchet, but these guys just keep sneaking up on me. I gotta put them down. Move. You think I can aim the trebuchet yeah. at the dragon and hit it? 20 bucks says I can hit it. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! That is some... Tasty, tasty fire magic. I wish I could do that. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Ah, the Elder One. We meet at last. Not happy I took your mages, hmm? Huh? Don't worry. I'll take your face as well. Oh, looks like someone beat me to it. Oh, your pet dragon. Yes. I forgot about that. Uh-oh. Um, good boy! Bad boy! Down! Sit! Heal! Enough! Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken. No more. I'm not scared of you. Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. 
Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. You will kneel. The Elder One has a name now. Mind if I call you Cory? I will not yield to you, Cory. What do you want from me? Why are you here? What do you want from us? I ask for nothing, because it is not in your power to give. But that will not stop me. I am here for the anchor. The process of removing it begins now. Ow, oh, my anchor! Which is what this thing is apparently called. It is your fault, Geralt. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you was touched, what you flail at rifts. I crafted to assault the very heavens. Oh god! That hurts too! And you used the anchor to undo my work. Boy, I sure wish I had a companion or two to put an arrow through your eye. That would really help me out here. Why did the Divine die? For this chaos? The chaos will empower me. And ensure we no longer beg at the feet of the invisible. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion Withered to Winter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Ow! Oh, no! Ouch! The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. A sword! Oh, if only I were a soldier class! So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and god it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must. Die. Hmm. You expect me to fight. But that's not why I kept you talking. Enjoy your victory. Here's your prize. Oh crap, now I have to outrun an avalanche. As long as that dragon can't fly, it won't get away. Oh crap, I can fly! Why do I keep forgetting about the fact that dragons can fly? <laughs> I've seen better days, but on the plus side, I'm no longer being attacked by a dragon. Or the Elder One. And I didn't get buried in an avalanche. Oh, I have the option of doing a couple more missions. Except that I'm kind of buried underground here, so gotta solve this problem first. I think we saved the majority of the people in Haven. I wasn't able to save all of them. I know I wasn't able to save all of them. Some of them did die. Hopefully, everyone that I care about survived. All of my companions, all of my allies, hopefully the mages that were, uh, I wouldn't say subjugated to me, but I was responsible for them. Hopefully they're okay too. I've got to find a way out of here. So next time, with the rift closed and a new threat emerging, yes, we have to take out the Elder One. Make sure he doesn't rip open another hole into the Fade and try and get this power for himself. Things are looking grim right now, but we will regroup, we will rebuild, and we will eliminate the Elder One. Even if I have to pick up a thousand crafting items and do a million boring submissions, the Elder One cannot be suffered to live. Until then, 
My name is Mike, and this has been Dragon Age Inquisition. Thank you for joining me.